Well, Browns GM Andrew Berry held his end of season press conference today. And of course, we'll start with what he had to say about Deshaun Watson, Mary Kay, and they are very confident in Deshaun coming back from this injury. You did ask if there were any examples they were looking at, a, a someone, a quarterback, an athlete who's come back from this, and he wasn't really ready to cite any names, but uh, they're still very confident in his recovery and how it's going. He even said that he might be a little bit ahead of schedule in his rehab. So that would be great for the Cleveland Browns because they need to hit the ground running this year. We're all watching the playoff games this weekend. We know what's out there, right? You've got to be able to beat Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson. It's not going to get any easier. So they need Deshaun uh, to be really healthy for this season. And they are so super confident that he will be. Yeah, and actually, I mean, in, in theory, this is why you went and got to Sean Watson to put yourself on that level. So uh, if you can get him back on the field during the spring and, and kind of keep things pointing that direction, that's a good thing. Yeah, and I think this is something we've heard from Andrew Berry before, that this is a long-term move when they went and traded for Deshaun Watson and obviously everything that came with that. And he said they think about it in terms of not even the five-year contract, but a 10-year plan with Deshaun Watson. So it sounds like they have all the confidence in the world in him. And obviously, like Mary Kay said, they know they're going to need him. Now, the other name, of course, Joe Flacco and Andrew Berry. Actually, I, he seemed optimistic, like he would really welcome Joe Flacco back. Now, obviously, there's a lot of things out of their control. They've got to come up with a contract. Joe might get some opportunities elsewhere. He didn't say all this. I'm saying all this. But he said there were a lot of things that you have to consider uh, with Joe Flacco. But he certainly seemed open to a return of Flacco, Mary Kay. Yes, absolutely. I mean, who would not want Joe back after the feel-good story that he was in 2023 after his 4-1 record leading them to the playoffs that great great feel good jets game which andrew also cited uh, so there are so many good things about having joe back here but joe might have an opportunity to find a starting job elsewhere he might get a bunch of money elsewhere but they do want someone like that back it could either be joe it could be jacoby but they're open to it and Ashley, he shut down any speculation of if they'd be concerned about Joe Flacco and Deshaun Watson in the same locker room. He said he'd give, they'd give that zero consideration as to whether that would be divisive. Yeah, I mean, personality-wise and everything, how they work together, that all sounded, you know, like something that they're very optimistic about, I think, understandably so. But, you know, I did think it was interesting he acknowledged, like, it's almost like a Jacoby Brissett situation last year where it's a guy who played so well here, he may have earned his chance to go and out and compete for a starting job Elsewhere. So it would be interesting if that's how Jacoby Brissett, like Mary Kay said, ultimately gets back here. Now, of course, Nick Chubb, also a topic of discussion. And look, he, let's put it simply. He basically said no one wants that carry in Pittsburgh to be Nick Chubb's last carry as a Cleveland Brown. Yeah, and I thought that was significant because really what he's saying there is that they are going to make every effort to bring Nick Chubb back, have him on this roster, and let him get out there and play some Cleveland Browns football again. And that's huge. I mean, they're gonna to have to work through some of the financial aspects of that because he's got a huge cap number and they have to be protected and they have to make sure that the player gets paid and all of that. But uh, the bottom line is we all know that Nick Chubb is basically the face of this franchise and they want to do right by him. Yeah, I mean, look, it's a, it's a line they have to walk, Ashley, but sometimes you do have to, to play that PR game. You just can't let Nick Chubb go, even if it saves you money, whatever it is. It's, it's Nick Chubb. Right, I mean, I think that's ultimately going to be what it comes down to. I did also, to Mary Kay's point, think it was significant that he referred to the situation as the elephant in the room, just because, like, we don't typically get that much insight even from Andrew Berry in these settings, in these press conferences. He doesn't want to say much, but I think even acknowledging that, um, that's a step, right, towards resolving it and, you know, like we're saying, making sure Nick Chubb, that that, that was not his last carry as a Cleveland Brown. Now, one other name to mention, Kevin Stefanski. Obviously, he's, uh, Andrew Berry mentioned this. It seems like he's on his way to winning his second Coach of the Year award in four years, and I thought it was very interesting, Mary Kay, that Andrew basically said, he kind of talked about him like a player in some ways, that Kevin, as good as he's been, he still hasn't reached his ceiling. Yeah, I mean, they just think the world of Kevin Stefanski, and I think Andrew made it very clear. We've all thought that Kevin Stefanski was going to be getting an extension sometime soon. Andrew pretty much confirmed that without saying it. Of course, he's in line for one of his own, uh, but it really, you know, it's really very clear that they love Kevin Stefanski as the CEO coach, uh, their growth mindset coach, uh, you know, he might possibly give up play call to the new coordinator this year. Uh, that remains to be seen. But just in terms of running the whole operation, 
he's going to be around for a long time. Yeah, and Ashley, if there were any questions about Kevin, I think you put a lot of them to rest this year. I, I think you'd be hard-pressed to find many people who would say that the Browns should move on from him. Yeah, and Andrew even went to bat saying that he thinks he should be the coach of the year here in the next couple of weeks when those major awards are announced. And yeah, you know, I think just the way he managed everything that this team had to deal with, particularly with winning games with four different starting quarterbacks, really helps that argument. Okay, full coverage of everything Andrew had to say today. You can find it all at cleveland.com slash browns.